colleagues from the uh, media. Today, I have the honor to welcome my good friend, Minister for External Affairs of the Republic of India, Dr. Jeshankar Subramanyam. And Jakarta is his first visit destination in Southeast Asia. And of course, it is very timely as we celebrate the 70th anniversary of Indonesia-India diplomatic ties. Indonesia-India have a long-established strong bond. We both initiator of the Asia-Africa Conference in 1955. We are both founders of the Landline Movement and we are both two great democratic countries. Our commitment to the strong and unique bond should be reflected in our current relation. As two big nations in the region, we share many similarities and common position in various regional and international issues. Indo-Pacific cooperation is a prime example. Indonesia appreciates the support extended by India on the ASEAN outlook on Indo-Pacific, and we are both ready to strengthen the Indo-Pacific cooperation. Just recently, on the 3rd September 2019, Indonesia hosted the preliminary meeting Joint Task Force for Aceh, Andaman, and Nicobar Connectivity. And during the preliminary meeting, both of us agreed to strengthen trade and investment, connectivity development, sustainable development of marine resources, tourism and exchange of culture, education, as well as port development. Today, we held a bilateral meeting and discussed various issues of common interest, both bilaterally as well as regional and multilateral. On economic cooperation, we reaffirm both countries' commitment to pursuing the target of 50 billion US dollar bilateral trade by 2025 through, among others, broader market access. Indonesia, uh, during the discussion, I convey also the issue of palm oil to the Indian Minister of External Affairs. Indonesia also requested the, uh, ac the greater access uh, market for other uh, products for Indonesia, from Indonesia. Both of us welcome stronger engagement between our two private sectors, among others through Indonesia-India CEO Forum on Infrastructure Forum. I also convey Indonesia hopes that negotiation on the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership or RCEP could be concluded this year. On maritime cooperation, both of us agreed to follow up the preliminary meeting of Joint Task Force on Aceh Andaman Nicobar Connectivity, as I mentioned earlier. The first Joint Task Force will be held in Aceh on 12 November 2019. Indonesia is ready to take part in the development on infrastructure and connectivity for Andaman and Nicobar. And Indonesia also proposed that both of us will expedite the next round of negotiation on the maritime delimitation on our EEC. On the defense cooperation, we are pleased to note the wide-ranging extent of our defense cooperation and encourage closer collaboration between Indonesia and India defense industry including through joint production. And we look forward to the second security dialogue to discuss all aspects of security-related cooperation. To conclude, uh, Minister, I would like to reiterate Indonesia appreciation of India consistent position and support toward territorial integrity of Indonesia and again for the ASEAN outlook on Indo-Pacific. Indonesia look forward to the sixth Joint Commission meeting in India uh, at the end of 2019 to review the bilateral relation and cooperation.
cooperation between our two countries. So with that, I would like to invite you to convey your remarks and statement. Thank you. Um, Your Excellency, Mrs. Retno Marsudi, Minister of Foreign Affairs, distinguished members of the media, ladies and gentlemen. Let me begin by thanking you, Minister, for a very warm hospitality and courtesies extended to me and my delegation. I am really very happy to be in Jakarta. This is my first visit ever to Jakarta. Uh, and it's also my first bilateral visit to an ASEAN country in my current capacity. I'm very conscious of our long historical relationship and the Minister and I agreed that this is a source of strength for us as we actually forge an equally strong contemporary relationship. I had very fruitful and substantive discussions today with Minister Retno. We discussed really the entire gamut of our bilateral ties and a number of regional global issues, political matters, security matters, economic issues. Uh, and uh, the, the larger context really for our discussion was the visit of uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi uh, in May 2018, which was a landmark event in our bilateral ties. And uh, our leaders, if you recall, had decided to elevate our relationship to a comprehensive uh, strategic partnership. India and Indonesia are close maritime neighbors, and we really value Indonesia as a key partner under our Act East and Indo-Pacific policy. This year we celebrate the 70th anniversary of the establishment of our diplomatic ties and we have come a long way in seven decades of our engagement. Our leaders have nurtured the relationship which is based on common cultural and civilizational links. Our two countries have jointly struggled against colonial rule and laid the foundation of South-South cooperation. We became independent countries around the same time and uh, last month uh, we celebrated the 73rd and 74th anniversaries of our independence. We are young democratic nations. We are the world's two largest multi-religious, multi-ethnic societies. And the people of our two countries have given huge mandate to our leaders in the recently held elections in our two countries. Now our discussions were what it should be between two countries like us. They were very frank, they were very free, uh, they were very comfortable. Uh, and we exchanged views on a variety of steps that we need to step to improve our bilateral relationship even further. Uh, I congratulated Minister Retno on leading the adoption of the ASEAN outlook on Indo-Pacific. Uh, Indonesia as the largest country and the biggest economy in ASEAN has a critical role to play in the discussions within EAS to develop an outlook uh, into a, a framework and actionable agenda. Our shared vision of maritime cooperation in the Indo-Pacific agreed during Prime Minister's visit last year is a recognition that India and Indonesia as two major economies in this region need to develop synergies to harness the potential and meet the challenges that the region faces. We have a commonality of interest in working together on the Indo-Pacific concept within EAS and I underline to the Minister that we definitely see ASEAN centrality as a prominent feature of our approach to the Indo-Pacific. Our concept of Sagar, security and growth for all in the region, fits well with, India's, uh, with Indonesia's maritime fulcrum policy. Improving connectivity between India and Indonesia especially between the Andaman and Nicobar Islands and the Aceh province of Indonesia is therefore a key strategic priority for both countries. The heads of the joint task force of the Andaman Aceh uh, uh, on Andaman Aceh constituted by both countries met earlier this week and arrived at a common understanding on the terms of reference. As the minister mentioned, uh, we expect the task force to meet in November, if not earlier. The two regions obviously have immense growth potential. We are very happy to have joined uh, the in Indonesia, Malaysia, Thailand growth triangle as the first dialogue partner. And uh, Minister, I really appreciate Indonesia's invitation to us in that regard. And we hope to have further integration of economies of the sub-regions of Eastern India uh, with IMTGT. 
As democracies who both confront the menace of terrorism, uh, in our meeting today we uh, unequivocally reiterated our strongest condemnation of terrorism in all forms and manifestations. We express our uh, strongest opposition to any selective approaches in dealing with this menace. And uh, as you know, uh, India uh, calls upon all countries to uh, stop providing state sponsorship to terrorism and to prevent their terrorist ter territories from being used for establishing terrorist safe heavens. We also uh, affirmed uh, our shared interest uh, in uh, the territorial integrity and unity of uh, the two countries. Uh, we agreed to build a strong economic and development partnership that strengthens the flow of capital, trade, people and ideas between India and Indonesia and welcome the opening of the CII representative office which was agreed to between the leaders last year. We agreed on to work together for a balanced and sustainable trade by providing greater market access both in goods and services to achieve the trade target of 50 billion dollars uh, and uh, we agreed that uh, both countries would be responsive to the needs of the other in that context. As announced by the Prime Minister last year, we introduced free e-visas for Indonesian citizens and that has resulted in much larger number of Indonesians visiting India. Uh, Indian tourist arrivals here are also on the rise uh, and we believe that with the introduction of direct air connectivity, we would be able to promote closer people-to-people -people linkages. We also agreed to further strengthen our collaboration on global issues and cooperate more closely in multilateral organizations as two democratic countries with core values, uh, with common values of pluralism and civilizational harmony. Uh, it is important we stand together in facing global challenges. I look forward to Indonesia joining us at the launch of the Coalition of Disaster Resilient Infrastructure Initiative later this year at the United Nations. In my meeting today, we agreed to further strengthen relations, enhance mutual goodwill between the people of our two countries. I look forward to welcoming you, Minister, in India soon for the sixth Joint Commission meeting later this year. Once again, I would like to thank you really for your generous hospitality and a very warm welcome. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much.